Hey there, my fellow rough animators. Today, I want to talk about a specific topic that has plagued me since the first time I started using rough animator. And that is how to draw a straight line. The nemesis of every artist. Or a circle, or a square, or a triangle, or any kind of very simple form. There's no way to do it natively in rough animator. Or is there? Yes, yes, in fact, there is. Let's go. So, what you'll have to do to create lines and circles and triangles and squares is to create a brush first. So you create a brush with a line form and a brush with a circle form, etc. And then you have to import them into Rough Animator. Fortunately for you, I have created a brush set with six geometric forms and a line brush. You can find it in the description below and buy it for a very small amount to support this channel. So now let's go ahead and use one of these brushes. Let's start with the line brush. Let's set it to maximum size, 300 pixels. Set the spacing a bit farther apart and disable pressure sensitivity and randomize rotation. Okay, now let's paint a line. As you see, this by itself is not that useful. The line is always in the same orientation. So how do we get the line we actually want? With the power of the transform tool. So select the transform tool in the sidebar. Circle the line you want to transform. Now you can move the line around. You can scale it horizontally and you can rotate it in every orientation you want. And of course, you can copy and paste it to create multiple lines without switching tools. So let's quickly create some perspective guidelines. And one extra tip here, actually, you can move the origin of the transformation. Uh, when you move this little dot that's in the center to a spot around which you want to rotate. So for example, the origin of the line, and then it will only rotate from this position on, that can be very useful, especially when you want to animate an arc. So as you see, it was rather simple to create a whole perspective grid with this technique. I really wish I knew about this months ago. You can use exactly the same techniques to draw all the other forms and to transform them to the forms you like. For example, you can create ovals from circles, you can create rectangles from the square form, and so on. And what I especially love about this is that I don't have to leave the rough animator app anymore. When I had to do any kind of precision work, like draw some circles, or some rough backgrounds, I had to go out of the app, paint them in Procreate or another app, go back in, and that kind of breaks the flow. So with this new flow, I can stay completely in the app and it makes the app more professional for me. Let's have a look at the first video I produced with the help of these brushes. I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial 
And if you want to save yourself from the hassle of creating all these brushes yourself, go down to the description below, buy the brushes and have a wonderful feeling because you're also supporting this channel with it. I will continue producing rough animated tutorials and other tutorials on animation in the future. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.